Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 32 in chapter 5. And in this system, we have two box. Number 1 and number 2. We give it a name. Number 1, number 2. And then it tells us the acceleration is 5.2 meters per second square, right? Uh, on the top. So now, this, the first one asks you to find the minimum coefficient for mu. And, and then the second one still, the mu become half of the min, this minute asks you to find the acceleration. And the third one asks you to find the force in the previous two situations. So first thing, let's do the force analysis. See what, see what force act on the number one. So for number one, we must have gravity, normal force. And then, because we can see this number one just get the acceleration forward, do you agree? So the, the force is not balanced on horizontal. There must be a force to make the number one move forward. So this is a friction. Do you agree? Then we can write the equation for this one. We can see on the y component, the force is balanced. And on the x component, we have the, this friction equals the mass times acceleration. And this friction can be written as the coefficient times the F1, the normal force. Therefore, we can get this acceleration is just equal to mu times g, this one, right? And then we look at the number two. For number two, we can see there must be gravity, normal force, uh, the tension. And the, because we see we have the normal force for number one, and that is the number two, act a force on number one to support the number one, so Fn1. Uh, so similarly, there must be a force, the number one act on number two to press it. So we have the, this uh, F normal force, not Fn1. And also we have the normal force the table to number two, Fn2. And also we have the force acted by the person and the friction. This friction just uh, because this surface, right? The contaction, the interaction between number one and number two. So this to this friction just in the opposite direction, but equal in magnitude. Therefore, we can write the equations. You can see first on the y component, we have the Fn2 minus Fn minus m2 uh, gravity, m2g equals zero. Then we look at the, then we look at the horizontal direction. It has the Fp minus the friction equals m2 times a2. So in this one, if we do this calculation, we find A2 is just equal to Fp minus this one. This one is a friction, mu m1g divided by m2. Agree? Yes. Now, the next question, we see, first one, what is the minimum coefficient for friction between these two boxes to uh, prevent this number one from the moving uh, relative to number two? So in this one, First thing we want to find is we want to make sure in what cases this number one is not move with number two. That means they keep the same acceleration. Do you agree? Yes. So that means the a one is just equal to 5.2 meter per second square. So number one and number two will not move uh, relatively. So this the first one is a one just 5.2 uh, divided by 9.8. We get the final answer. The second one if it just say if the mu is becomes half of this uh, 0 0.53, what is the acceleration for number one? So, so still there, we see the number one, the acceleration equal to mu times g, right? And then this mu becomes half of it, so acceleration also becomes half of it. It's so easy. Agree? And then the acceleration relatively to the 12, this one, the, the number two. So ask you the acceleration number one to number two. Agree? So in this one, we can do this calculation. We say the relative uh, relative velocity, we did that. So still, we can consider it's a, a vector. The acceleration is a vector. So the acceleration number one to the table equals acceleration number one to number two plus the acceleration A2 to table. Do you agree? This is a, we did the same, same thing in the relative velocity. So in this one, you can see the acceleration number one to the table. This is, we justified, right? Number one to the table is 2.6 in the horizontal. We see I component. 
And this is we want to find the acceleration number one to number two plus the acceleration A2. So the number two to the table is 5.2 meter per second square. So, so in this one, we find this acceleration number one to number two is just a negative 2.6 uh, to the opposite direction backward, right? The next one, what is the force that must be applied to the number two in this uh, first two situations to make sure the, the, the table is frictionless? So in this case, we didn't consider the uh, friction between the table and number two. So what is the force must be? So we can see, look at this equation. This equation. And we can see Fp just uh, minus the friction equal to m2 times acceleration A2. So this friction is just equal to what? M1 times A1, do you agree? So the friction is just M1 times acceleration A1 plus M2 times acceleration A2. Now it becomes so easy. In first situations, A1 and A2 equals to 5.2, right? So we can get it. And then in second situations, the A1 becomes 2.6. A2 still 5.2, we can still get it. And then for more details, we can see when we input the numbers, first thing we get is uh, mu, just a 0 0.53, and then the second one, if mu become half, we can still get its acceleration. And then the relative acceleration, this one negative 2.6, and then in this one, we can see it is a, a force acted by the person, it's just as a, or, the so M1 times A1 plus M2 times A2. So we just input the numbers, we get the two answers. Thank you.